Yeah. I've been annoyed when I met a, a lady who's 42. She turned the guy down simply because he was six years younger. Don't look at the ears, look at the mind. Can you think together? Can you work together? D d does he seem mature? Can he lead you? Does he make you feel gullet? Does, does he love you? Does he? So stop concentrating on petty things like ears. Yeah. <laughs> no, look at maturity. Why then you are net? The thing is, be proactive. And I said, be very watchful with them. Uh, be very careful with the people who... Because by now you're somewhere career-wise. If yes. they came because of your money, I don't want you to get projects. We want mm -mm. a partner. Yes. Not somebody you try, to, you try to fund them, fund them here, fund them there. D don't let your compassion be manipulated. Because <laughs> now the kids love you, Thomas. Pay, pay this, pay this much. So be very careful. You want somebody at least where you are or ahead of you. Okay. Because you still want him to spoil you Absolutely. and cherish you. Yeah. Your SMSs, we have so many. So I'll try to go through <laughs> okay. them pretty first. I am Tina. I'm not at 40, though I'm a firstborn in a family of five. So I'm dating this guy who's never comfortable any time I mention or um, any time I mention of supporting my family. He always thinks I'm doing so much. I come from a poor background and I really feel my family needs me. What should I do? Let them, but the both of them, see a professional. Let them have okay. a conversation. Somebody to facilitate the talk. Maybe the guy is sincere. He doesn't understand your world. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you need to make him to understand. Okay. Yeah. Uh, good morning, Benjamin. Um, you have described... Uh, Benjamin has described from all of the scenes. Uh, okay, fine. Currently, I'm 37 years old. My brother sometimes makes a joke that good girls don't usually get the corner office. I really desire to get married. I need help, Eva. Uh, 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 Eva, please, let's have a personal conversation because I want to check your full history. But I want to tell you that because you are now open for self-evaluation, mm -hmm. the good girls don't know how to put themselves out there. They were told that a good girl sits home and waits. <laughs> That is when the, the, the parents would go out to look for the husband for you. But that is not happening as well. Because you are told, you are good, avoid boys, don't get pregnant, you be careful, be serious, look at, you know, you are told to stay and then suddenly you ask, where is the man? Bring a man. <laughs> they never told you to look for one. So probably she just never made the mental switch on how to put herself out there. Absolutely. Uh, hey, Mikali, your story, Minimaliza, donate your choir clothes at a mini. <laughs> that is Masi watching from Wendani. Hey, what if that, uh, what if for that person not to get to that age maybe something that happened to them during their teen years then they just gave up what will she do to get back yes, up? yes i've you said also you start by healing if you have emotional disability that came from a bad breakup go heal it mm -hmm. you can't play when you have an injury yeah. we usually take you out to cure you because if you stay in here you never play you'll be focusing on protecting the injury <laughs> so better to go and heal first <laughs> that is true this is a game you need to be healthy yeah and they say that hurt people hurt other people. Thank you. And when yeah. a car stalls on the road, either we alert others, yes. <laughs> someone is tall, or we pull you out of the road. Or we, 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 you need to go to garage. So if you've got a heartbreak, deal with it first. You will never be objective. In fact, have you ever tried talking to a person and they transfer all the pain they have with other women to you? Yeah. But you need to You women are the same. You know, yeah, Maggie used to tell me that. Even mm. Anne. Yeah, now, you are you women. You have never healed from the heartbreak. Heal first. Otherwise, you will transfer all the bitterness to us. And people, by the way, bitterness is very repelling. Okay. And when I talk to 40 year olds, I first, first signal is most 40 year olds are not very digital. It's that generation that uh, is called Generation X. They're not Y. Why in Asia that's seven? Mm -hmm. So most of them are not, were not born with phones and gadgets. They grew into it, but it's not their inner. So they're better in offline dating. And because I tell them most of your partners will come from offline connections. At Amgianza Online, it will be brief. Then yes. when the video calls, learn to smile. Some of the ladies are too serious. <laughs> because they are bosses. See, they are CEOs. Yes. This group, they are CEOs. They're in high play, and they're called lady boss. And they walk. They, they have a presence as they walk. So she just can't make the switch to be this girl who is playful and allowing herself to be led. She can't even dance with a guy. She's learned to, she used to call, call in shots. So when a guy talks that, feels like you're talking to the lady boss. You must learn how to make the switch. Smile, be a playful, playful, sexually excitable girl. That's what men are looking for. La. They are not looking for uh, this lady who came with this car and has a driver and uh, somebody carrying it. Hey, hold my keys there. <laughs> you don't do that. No. <laughs> don't, don't place the keys on the table to show me yours is a Subaru. <laughs> yours is a this. Try to be, in fact, try to be that. Uh, you, you turn on your charm now, not your authority. <laughs> so even if you are 40 and you're in positions of leadership at workplace, dating, we need you to sit. Be, dating is a game and it requires a light touch, not seriousness. Okay. <laughs> it requires a light touch and playfulness. Don't be too, no, I don't need that. Don't ask the guy, what, do you, what, what are you eating? Um, give me the same. Sometimes learn to flow. So that mm -hmm. you, so, you mm -hmm. learn his taste, you learn his, you know. And, 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 and I'm saying, if you're always the leader in your workplace, learn now to be a follower in relationships. Ah. Men are not trying to look for a leader in a woman.
That is interesting. Yes. Because when you bring in the bossy side to okay. him, then you're putting him down in some way. But then again, it doesn't mean that I have to now be on the floor. It's, no, no, we are not saying that. Yeah. Remember, humility does not does not mean despising yourself. Okay. It means learning which position you should be playing here. <laughs> And this uh, Veen from Mombasa says something that you've just mentioned right now. Ladies who have made it in life, they have a certain confidence that makes a man think she is rude. So is that the problem of the lady being confident? Because I'm also at this point, if I'm 40, I am uh, self-actualized. My self-esteem, I know who I am. I know what I'm about. So that might also come off as rude. Of which men get afraid of approaching such a lady. That is Veen from Mombasa. When you have stayed up to 40 alone, you have learned how to manage your life. You are very self-sufficient. Yes. Be yes. very careful. <laughs> <laughs> men don't want a self-sufficient woman. They want a, a woman who shows him the role he will play. So learn, even if you're confident. Confident mm -hmm. and arrogance are different. Okay. I, I want you to learn to ask him to change a bulb for you. Even if you could have paid a guy to do it. Ask him to change the battery for you. Mm -hmm. Ask assistants in small things so that he can see that there's a space for him in your life. Know that you have hired, you have outsourced all the services <laughs> until he's, he's reduced. Sometimes ask him to carry, to drive you. If you're wasting your car, you mind yeah. driving me? I like the way you drive. Even if you don't, <laughs> pretend like you do. In life, you must learn how to act. You, you, all, you ladies have been told about men's ego, yeah. ego, ego. I want to break it down to a simple Please. thing. <laughs> to say dear. So, show him his relevance in your life. Simple. Okay. <laughs> so, give me the small masculine tasks. Of fixing the car, of fixing the bulb, of lift carrying this for you, and appreciating sincerely. Those small things, there's a boy in every man. Always engage that boy. <laughs> okay? Without calling it out. <laughs> Just engage the boy. Okay? <laughs> so I want to tell this lady, don't stop being confident. Because if, if you pretend to be not who you are then, you'll have lied to the person. They'll have married a lie. Yeah. But at the same time, you're saying, be naturally humble. Being successful in career does not mean you're not humble. In any case, you still have bosses above you and you always admit to them. This is not a new thing. Okay. You are not the star everywhere. Actually, when you go home, Mary, you can tell us, they take you like a child. They send, send you around like yeah. an errand girl. Hey, you yeah. bring me that cup. Now, these girls are nowadays. Can you see the visitors don't have... <laughs> so, this, there are places where you are not even respected. Remember those places. They will keep you humble and remind you your roots. <laughs> Good morning, Benjamin. So, you mean we men... Are, we are responsible for chasing after ladies while women approach us through the physical appearance. Gideon Ezra from Nakuru. Exactly, that's the right thing, Gideon. You want the hunter to be chased by the prey? No. Even if a lion was looking for an antelope, and then when an antelope came running, that lion will run. <laughs> that antelope must be having something. Mm -hmm. So I'm saying the work of a woman is to simply turn on her charm and invite you to her shop. It's the work of the man to pursue. That's why women never propose. <laughs> mm -hmm. Never tell a guy I like you. Never tell a guy I love you. You can only like his suit, like his work, like his ideas, like him indirectly. To invite him to pursue you. When he pursues you, study him to see whether he ticks the boxes of the man you're looking for. If he doesn't, leave that guy alone. Go, on, go to the next one. Some of the ladies got to 40 because they dated their own candidate, interviewed one candidate for eight years. Surely? <laughs> 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 this is an interview, dummy. Don't stay with one <laughs> candidate so long. Oh my God, I love what Benjamin is highlighting. He also needs to let ladies know that men are so preoccupied by other issues that they don't want to struggle getting a partner. Asante. As they play hard to get or not being cheap and simple, ladies should also know the right time to give in. We say, ladies, don't play hard to get stage one. When a man shows interest to you, invite him readily. Mm -hmm. Stage one, don't play hard to get. Okay. Even stage, stage one is charming. If he, have, he has been caught by your, by your charm, Flow with it. Chat him up. Do the video call. See whom you're dealing with. If you happen to like him, go to stage two of role playing. Imagine you were his woman. How would it feel like? How does he want to treat his woman? And can he play your man? That is stage two now of role playing. Stage three, because now you're being coming. He has called. I think this guy is good. I can go there. Now stage three, you switch. Now run away for him to run after you. So when he runs after you now, you set conditions. Me, I want ABCD for a husband. Can you match up with that? If he agrees now, you seal the deal. Stage four. Don't move in somehow. Don't get a child somehow. Not start living together somehow. Oh, that is stupidity. To get you to 45 without anyone. Mm. And you start feeling forms. Are you married or single? I don't you know. I have a man, but I don't know whether I'm married. Avoid that <laughs> negotiation. Then selling the deal. Because when you negotiate, you say, Me, I want a wedding or I want something. I want the day my transition changes from being single to being taken. You will set the terms. Constitution is written in stage four. You negotiate in the boardroom, not bedroom. Yes. <laughs> 
okay? Very true. <laughs> so when you seal the deal now, so it's supposed to be a process. So don't run away stage one, stage two. You don't know him. Learn him. Invite him. Ukienda kwa muindi wa kwa ambiangi, you don't look like you can afford the cars. Mm -mm. Okay, welcome customer. This is 5 million. They can see from the you don't look like one of But they still tell you the price anyway. So invite all uh, onlookers and window shoppers. <laughs> Let them know your price. Yeah. Let's also gauge them whether they measure up. Okay.